Tesla, one of the biggest laggards in the S&P today, giving back some of the recent gains. It's been an outperformer, as you know, over the last few weeks. Maybe in anticipation of this October 10th robo-taxi event and various AI offerings. Stakes are getting higher, though, as autonomous driving leader Waymo releases a safety report. Our Drew DeBose is watching that today in Tech Check. Hey, Dee. Hey, so, Carl, one big number that really stuck out in this report there's more than 22 million rider-only miles that have been driven through June of this year by Waymo vehicles. That is a more than 200 percent increase over just eight months and really a staggering amount considering how still new this technology is and the fact that it's only operating in four cities here in San Francisco, L.A., Phoenix, Austin might also be surprising given the amount of skepticism still surrounding self-driving cars. Waymo's new safety website, though, it makes the case with lots of data that robotaxis are actually safer than human drivers. They use a formula that compares its driverless vehicles to human driver benchmarks to show that they're safer in almost every category. Now, the hub, which went live last night, it will be updated periodically, and it serves a few purposes. One, it could help win over the skeptics as Waymo looks to expand its footprint beyond those four cities. Two, it gives data to safety regulators that are taking a harder look at the space. Three, positions Waymo as a leader, or more of a leader, some might say, in robo-taxis, as more competitors come online. And it signals a new standard that competitors may also have to clear, like Tesla, which has yet to prove that its vehicles can deliver fully autonomous experiences that is without a safety driver. Waymo's continued leadership it raises the stakes for that October 10th event. I'll also just note the rideshare companies. They're mixed in today's session, but the threat of robo-taxis infringing on their businesses, that hasn't really impacted the broader investment thesis. Uber delivers a million rideshare and delivery trips globally every hour, according to the company, and it's making partnerships with autonomous tech companies itself. But the rate, which we found out with that website, at which Waymo is clocking rides and the rate at which other competitors are coming online, there's another announcement this morning, that should maybe give investors pause. Yesterday, Goldman Sachs Communicopia, Lyft CEO David Risher said that there will be a hybrid form for, quote, a long, long time. He's meaning humans and robo-taxis on one platform like theirs. But I don't know, guys, if Waymo can convince the public that it's actually delivering safer rides and ones without drivers, a robo-taxi future, that could be closer than we think. Something certainly for those investors to keep an eye on. Yeah, it's definitely, it's like pushing a rock up a hill trying to get uh, society at large to think about it that way. Uh, Dee, we'll watch it closely. Thanks, uh, Deirdre Thanks. Bosa, today.